In this video, we will begin looking at how the equation of a line is related to the graph of the line by using what is called slope-intercept equation. To set this up, we will consider first a line that hits the y-axis at this point here. We call this point the y-intercept. Because there's no left and right motion, the x value is 0, and because we don't know, let's say the y value there is b. b is the y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis. The other point, let's just call x, comma, y. I want to start by calculating the slope between these two points. Let's call the 0b, or the y-intercept, the first point, and the x, y, the second point. We know that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals the slope. By plugging these values in, y2 is just y, minus y1 is b, or the y-intercept, over x2, which is just x, minus x1, which is 0, equals m, or the slope. Notice in the denominator, x minus 0, is the same as just saying x. What we will do with this equation is we will solve it to get the variable y all alone. We do this by first multiplying by x to clear the fraction. y minus b equals mx. Finally, to get the b alone, or to get the y alone, sorry, we will add b to both sides y is equal to mx plus b. This equation, a good one to commit to memory, is called the slope-intercept equation. It gets its name because the m in the equation represents the slope, and the b in the equation represents the y-intercept, or where the graph crossed the y-axis. Let's take a look at some examples where this equation can help us model some given information. In this problem, we are told that the slope is negative 3 fourths. As you recall, we represent the slope with the letter m. We're also told that the y-intercept is 2. We will always use the letter b to represent the y-intercept. We also know the equation now, y equals mx plus b, will represent any line. Plugging in what we know, we get y is equal to m, or the slope, negative 3 fourths, x plus b, which is 2. This is the equation of the line that will have a slope, negative 3 fourths, and a y-intercept of 2. Let's see if we can do the same thing by starting first with the graph of the line. To find the equation, we need to locate what the slope is and what b, or the y-intercept, is. The slope we can find quickly from the graph by identifying some points on the graph. Notice this graph has a rise of 2 and a run of 3. This means the slope is rise 2 over 3 or two-thirds. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. In this case, it crosses the y-axis at negative 3. 1, 2, whoops, 0, 1, and try again. 0 is the center, 1, 2, 3. The y-intercept is negative 3. Using y equals mx plus b, we can simply plug in the information we know. y is equal to m, the slope of this line is 2 thirds, x plus b, or negative 3. This then is the equation that if you were to draw a picture of the solutions, you would get the line we started with. y equals mx plus b, the slope in intercept equation, is very important for graphing lines.